guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by this title I am going to be talking a little bit about America in this video or the USA um, so about a year ago now <laughs> I posted a video about my culture shock in Korea as a half Korean and a lot of you were complaining like what about America USA has a lot of things too, a lot of problems this and that blah 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 yes America does have a lot of problems so here I am finally talking about America and the things that I don't exactly miss about living in America all right, so in the beginning of this video, I am going to try to keep it a little bit lighthearted and fun, but as some of you might be able to assume, later on this video, it will probably get a little bit serious, a little bit real. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to mention is the fact that cheap food is usually unhealthy. Like, you can go to McDonald's. Honestly, McDonald's in America have better deals than they do here in Korea. McDonald's, Burger King, all of those fast food restaurants have much better deals. They have the dollar menu, all of this stuff that Korea does not have. So the food that is unhealthy for you is more affordable. So typically when I was brokey broke broke in college, I would have to eat unhealthy food because it was cheaper. Here in Korea, it is actually cheaper to go to one of these mom and pop little Korean restaurants and to get a full meal there versus going to McDonald's or Burger King and getting a meal there. Typically when you go to these little mom and pop shops they do have like a variety of side dishes that are usually vegetables and not only that the main dish that you order is probably full of vegetables as well whereas if you go to Burger King or McDonald's you're just getting <laughs> A greasy hot mess okay the next thing I don't miss about America is I'm just gonna show y'all I'm just gonna show y'all you ready hey hey girl hey girl yeah you I know you hear me talking to you girl yo ma ma yo yo ma I'm just, you, you can't say hi I'm just trying to say hi you can't say hi <laughs> Yes, one thing I don't miss about America is the cat calling. I can't stand that. And it has been fairly refreshing, I suppose, to be able to walk down the street and not get yelled at or like hollered at. Cause typically I don't really feel like getting hollered at when I'm just trying to go to the store and buy some groceries or something. You know what I mean? I remember just walking out of my dorms okay mind you i went to a school where the whole campus was like in the middle of the city so i would walk out of my dorms down the street to the right aid i used to hate going to the right aid on the corner because i couldn't go inside without somebody trying to holla like i just need some batteries no i don't want you to have my number no you can't know my name <laughs> like <laughs> Okay, there's a difference though you guys there is a huge difference. I'm not saying I don't want a nice gentleman To walk up because I mean that's one thing I do actually like about America is that people are not afraid To talk. I know this sounds like I'm contradicting myself, but there's just a difference Okay, if I'm standing in the in the Walmart line, whatever Fine young gentleman want to talk to me. He can hey how you doing today you know da, 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 whatever that's fine that's fine be respectful if I reject you <laughs> be respectful <laughs> okay it's just the cat calling thing I can't handle that I just can't so another thing that I don't really miss about America is the fact that you basically have to drive everywhere now it is possible to walk places but it would just take so long especially in the area that I lived in or the area that my mom lives in um, we are not like New York or like these other cities that have really good public transportation or like decent tra public transportation so it's either drive or call an uber now when I was living in America uber was not a big thing but that's just more money so here in Korea Korea, public transportation is amazing not only is it really reliable and comfortable it's also mad cheap or I could just walk places like things are close enough for me to just be able to walk to them and not only that I feel comfortable enough to walk there which brings me back to what I just mentioned about the cat calling so I used to live in this apartment complex and if you walk down the street a little bit and then cross the main intersection, there's a food line right there, very walking distance. I would say maybe an eight minute walk. 
I would never walk there because I would probably be stopped every few feet <laughs> because of somebody I'm passing or getting cat called or someone hollering out of their car trying to get my phone number whatever the case things that I don't necessarily want to deal with so instead I just get in my car and drive down the street and go to the food lion so even though I could walk places because it is close enough I prefer not to because of cat calling but not only that even just safety reasons I could get robbed between my house and food line even though it's an eight minute walk like someone could rob me in broad daylight I don't want to deal with that I definitely wish we could feel more comfortable just walking to stores and not always feeling necessary to hop in the car to go places you know what I mean another thing that I don't miss about America is the high cost of living there so I do think rent might be a little more expensive here. I mean, it just depends on location. Obviously, I'm in Seoul, so it is a little more expensive. Um, but utilities here in Korea are so cheap. I just paid my electric bill. Actually, where is my electric bill? So I just paid my bill, my electric bill, for the month of December. And it was... 17,000 won. So approximately, well, less than 17 bucks for a month of electric. Like that's insane, right? I remember just having like $80, $90 electric bills every month and oh, it was just insane. So that is something that I definitely don't miss about America and I am not ready to go back to. So the next thing I wanna talk about that you guys might say that I'm contradicting myself when I say this, but I will explain myself and then hopefully you'll get a better understanding of what I mean when I say this, but I don't really like how opinionated Americans are. There are some, situations where I think it's necessary and it's good and I love how outspoken Americans are. However, I feel like there is a time and place for everything and I also feel like there is a way to do things, okay? Koreans mind their business. Like if it don't if it don't deal with them, if it's not about them, they'll just leave it alone, mind their business. Now that can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on the situation. Well, that goes the same thing for America. It could be a good thing to be outspoken and opinionated, but it can also be a bad thing. And the bad part about it is what I am not ready to return to. Let me go ahead and explain myself. I'll give you a perfect example. This guy is on the streets. He's a street performer. He, it's him and his little band and they're singing. This is a little video that I saw, I think on Instagram. He was singing, doing his thing on the street and he's recording himself because there's somebody harassing him while he's trying to do his thing. So he's singing his song and he's steady singing and this lady is like yelling at him to stop. Can you stop? Can you stop? Just stop, stop. Like, <laughs> and I'm just like, what is he doing wrong? Like he is on the street performing as a street performer. We have street performers in the States and he, she's just sta standing there basically harassing him asking him to stop now it's okay to talk about the fact that maybe she didn't like his music but she don't have to listen to it <laughs> you know what i mean she has every right to walk away if she doesn't like the music so stuff like that that's what i mean but i'm not ready for for things like that okay the last thing I'm going to mention is safety. So this is where we get a little more serious, okay? Now, Korea is very safe and I love that about Korea. Obviously, you should still be cautious. There are still crazy people everywhere. There are still people that will hurt you everywhere. Um, however, I feel extremely comfortable here in Korea. So in my college days, I worked at this job where I would finish work around 11.30 at night and it was in the middle of the city like I worked in the middle of the city so I had to find street parking and parallel park somewhere on the street and come 11:30, most of the people are gone home so it's just my little lonely car sitting on the side of the street on this dark dark street and I would have to like walk there by myself and sometimes I would even like call people like just just to let them know like hey I'm, I'm I just got off of work I'm walking to my car can you stay on the phone with me like stuff like that those things I don't have to worry about here but in the, once I move back to the States that's something I have to like readjust to that's something that I have to get used to again and yeah not looking forward to that all right so since we're on the topic of safety obviously I'm going to mention being a black American in America these days and how it is becoming scarier and scarier and just more dangerous I suppose 
to have brown skin in America. And I think this is something that needs to be addressed. Um, I haven't lived in America in six years. Uh, so a lot of what I see and hear is what I see on the internet and on different news um, websites and things like that. And it's sad. And it is something that the black community here in Korea definitely discuss a lot, like how, yeah, there are a lot of things that we do miss about America, but it's so scary to think about going back there as a black American, you know what I mean? And especially if you're a male. And the thought of going back home and having to deal with race, racist people, um, people who are very open about sharing their beliefs about you know how they don't like blacks and how they you know people are not they don't really have much of a filter anymore because I feel like when I was growing up it's like you would hear things here and there but I feel like everything kind of just exploded when Trump became president um those who you thought were your friends started posting racial things on their Facebook you know what I mean I lived in America for a long time so I feel like I can readjust and you know hopefully be able to settle in and live there but it's still like a really sad reality that we have to deal with as brown people um being a walking weapon if that makes sense and on top of that it doesn't matter who i marry or who i decide to have children with it can be the whitest white man on on earth my my kids will still come out brown they really will so if i have some kids who are brown i'm gonna have to give them the talk okay that's one thing a lot of people in the black community have started doing or started to have have to do is to give their kids the talk so the talk is like telling your i don't know 13 year old son like if you're walking outside walking your dog or outside just walking with friends take your hands out your pocket don't talk too loud um make sure you don't walk down this street make sure you don't go into that neighborhood you know things like that those are the kind of conversations that i don't look forward to having with my my kids okay my future kids so anyways i'm starting to ramble but <laughs> that is kind of like the more serious thing about america that i really just don't miss that i'm not excited to go back to and i don't really know like how i will feel when i'm back in america because that's just something I didn't have to deal with here let me stop rambling um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know a lot of you guys were asking for it wanting to know what things about America that I didn't like or what things about America that I didn't miss well there you go here is my short little list I could definitely I could definitely add to the list but this this video is already too long it really is it's already too long all right you guys that is all i have to say for this video if you haven't seen my video about my culture stock in korea as a half korean definitely check that video out i will have it linked below for easy access and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and hello to all of my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing i hope you guys continue to enjoy my videos all right so that is all i have to say you guys take care and i will see you in my next video bye